Ukrainian paratroopers spoke about the operation to clear the settlement of Malaya Lachnia in the Kursk region of Russia from Russian military personnel. The paratroopers said that they attacked the settlement with martyr armored fighting vehicles and tanks, and that the Russian military personnel there were hiding in the territory of the women's colony. The paratroopers, who attacked the colony with armored vehicles and supported by drones, destroyed the invaders there and took full control of the settlement. President Vladimir Putin on Monday placed flowers at a monument honoring the leaders of a 1612 uprising as the country marked Unity Day. The day commemorates the 1612 expulsion of Polish-Lithuanian forces that occupied Moscow in an uprising that was led by national heroes Prince Dmitry Pozharsky and Kuzma Minin. Russia has been celebrating the holiday since 2005, when it replaced the Soviet-era commemoration on that date of the Bolshevik Revolution. Representatives of religious denominations, public and youth organizations also participated in Monday's ceremony on Moscow's Red Square. After the ceremony, Putin and Russia's Patriarch Kirill visited an exhibition dedicated to the traditions of volunteerism and mutual assistance in Russia. короткий ролик о социальной помощи церкви. Помощь церкви это более тысячи лет служения, и это не только история. Сейчас церковь тоже один из крупнейших. Мы не можем столько людей. Вот вы, слава Богу, здоровые, сильные, и дай Бог вам такими же оставаться. 
Но рано или поздно вы все равно в жизни, которая сложна, сможете это сделать, то Господь вас не оставит, потому что Бог... Хотелось бы сразу отметить о том, что стремление помогать и история всей взаимопомощи, она в 2014 года именно вы инициировали создание Ассоциации волонтерских центров. Как вы все увидите, как на протяжении 10 лет мы уже в современном состоянии. Russian Marines in Crimea pay their commanders to avoid being sent to fight in the Kursk region. The command is attempting to hide information about losses, according to information from the partisan movement Atesh. An agent from the 810th Marine Brigade reports that at the unit's permanent station in Sevastopol, personnel issues are arising due to most of the personnel being sent to the Kursk region. The message reads, According to partisans, almost daily reports are received about new killed in action from the Kursk region and the brigade's command is trying to hide the facts of military deaths, although as expected, without success. The soldiers in the unit are in low morale due to the constant deaths of their comrades and are trying in every possible way to remain in Crimea. As a result, some commanders are demanding bribes from subordinates to grant a delay and avoid urgent deployment to the combat zone. Atesh notes, those who managed to pay and stay at the base are pretending to work actively by setting up camouflage barriers and moving equipment around. The 810th Marine Brigade of Russia, based in the temporarily occupied Sevastopol, Crimea, is involved in the war in Ukraine in the Kursk region. In June, partisans obtained documents from the occupiers of the 126th and 810th Crimean Brigades. Notably, in November 2023, the Ukrainian Defense Forces struck the 810th Brigade, which they called retaliation for the 128th Brigade, which was targeted by the Russian forces at the beginning of that month. At the time, the 128th Brigade, stationed in a frontline village in the Zaporizhia region, had been assembled for an award ceremony for Ukraine's Day of Missile Forces and Artillery. Recently, Ukrainian paratroopers said they have captured two Russian Marines from a brigade that reportedly murdered Ukrainian captives earlier this month. Kyiv said the 155th Independent Marine Brigade of the Russian Pacific Fleet was seen in drone footage shooting dead Ukrainian captives following an attack on Ukrainian drone operators on October the 10th. A retaliatory attack in Kursk between the warriors of the 95th Brigade of the DSHV, the Ukrainian Air Defense Forces, and the Russian Marines resulted in the surrender of two Russian prisoners, according to a Facebook post made by the airborne assault troops of the armed forces of Ukraine. The Ukrainian armed forces wrote that Ukrainian troops mercilessly destroyed the occupier, but mercifully preserve his life if the enemy drops weapons and surrenders captive.